Hello everyone. Okay, so the mac and cheese is done. Um, I didn't add anything to it except a little pepper because I always have pepper in my mac and cheese. And, cause I, and I also want to see just how it tastes like on its own for the most part. Um, so here it is. It's real stirred up like the way I like it. Um, so let's see, this is the, um, what's it called? The Butternut, <laughs> I need the box away. The Butternut, uh, Trader Joe's Mac and Cheese. Okay. I think I should zap it real quick because it's been sitting out cooling and now it's like, you know. Let me go zap it in the microwave real fast, you guys. It really does smell good. But it kind of has that look of like vegan mac and cheese with that sauce you know like how vegan they do something with the cheese to make the cheese um and so it looks a little different than like standard uh mac and cheese sauce but maybe they're using the butternut squash i'm like and i really want to see if uh it's something i should like can use on my own to make something I've had butternut, uh, butternut squash, or was it butternut, or spaghetti. I had spaghetti squash before, and I really did like that. Um, the one where you shred it with a fork, you bake it, and then you shred it with a fork. I made, like, some kind of, like, something for me and my mom one time, um, where it was just cheese, it was, it was like, Butter, garlic, I think, maybe shrimp or crawfish. God. Okay, you guys, here it is. Let's see what let's see what it tastes like. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my. Hmm. I need a little seasoning. So I'm gonna get some seasoning, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put some my adobo in there. And I'm gonna put uh, a oh. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this. I put this in everything, so stir that up a little bit. I'm gonna put like a little bit of this. So, it's Gouda cheddar. I forgot the third one. Okay, let's see how it tastes now. It's okay. I think if it was between this and Stouffer's mac and cheese, I'd probably get the Stouffer's. Because Stouffer's to me has more of like a, I don't know, it has like, it has like the, um, the real cheesy, like rich cheesy flavor to it. And, um, yes. Parmesan Gouda and cheddar. In my opinion, they maybe should have used. I think the Gouda is fine, and I think cheddar is fine. But I think they should have used um, an extra sharp cheddar, something to give it kind of like that pow, you know. This doesn't really. Parmesan is kind of like subtle. It comes out, but even with me when I make my little pizzas, like I have to put other cheese with it because it's just like on its own. I would be like underwhelmed. But, um, I don't know. I think regular cheddar and Gouda. Gouda is fine, I guess. 
we could be mixed in, but regular cheddar doesn't have enough on its own to where it's like, you know, it can really like take it to that next dimension. And I think extra sharp does, you know. To me, it works in it works in mac and cheese better because you know how extra sharp has like that kind of like part where it's real I don't know the word but not bitter but no parmesan you know how extra sharp has like a real sharp I don't know how it's explained but I'm sure if you tasted it you know what I'm talking about and that does something to macaroni you know but overall it's pretty it's okay I probably Now that I'm eating like a little more of it, I like, I don't know if it's roux, I don't know if they did a roux where they just put, put it on, and they put, um, the cheese mix in, but, oh, you know what I said I was going to do? I was going to put some of this. Remember the, um, unexpected cheddar. Let's see. Um, but this is also, they say, is a mix, which it's Parmesan, but it tastes like cheddar. And I'm like, oh, God, more Parmesan. <laughs> and I gotta go zap it real quick. Um, now that I read a little more of it, you know what? I don't want to completely write it off. But there's just other things I would get before I would get it again. Like even like those rice aroni, um like Kurt Screw or the Nor. Nor has a good one. Nor sides. Um Kurt Screw mac and cheese type thing. I would probably get that before I would get it again. You know? Because I think certain cheeses just go better together. But for what it is, it is kind of good. It's it's okay. I would give it maybe... I'm going to up my grade to maybe a six. Let me taste a piece of this. Unexpected cheddar. You guys see how this tastes. Some people like rave over it in the group. And some people are like, it's just okay. I don't know. It has a real pungent um taste to it. Let me go zap this. Can I taste like they said it's similar to extra sharp, but right? I mean maybe in that kind of pungentness a little bit. Um I don't know what I would put that in. I would have to be making something and just needed cheese, you know, and just didn't want to waste my other cheese that I use more often. So, uh, I don't know if I can do that um, but yeah, you guys, so, the, um, so yeah, the mac and cheese, I give it a six. I, I, I don't think I would get it again, though. Um, cause just like I said earlier, you know, I kind of go by like, um, if I, if I was having to pick between, you know, this item and that item, would I just break my, my grocery budget to get that thing again? And... I kind of don't know if I will with this. But it's good for now because I'm hungry right now. But I would just rather probably make it myself. Make my own macaroni and cheese. Or just if I didn't want to make it by like, you know, like the north sides or something like that. Because they use like Parmesan. I want to show you guys the one that's really good. I mean, yeah, if you're more gourmet. 
And I never, like, clean my hands, so... We have to confuse, but... I like... What they, um... This brand, what they do. And I also like the, uh... Restaurant-y kind. I kind of give the edge to this one. Um, and the secret with this one, I kind of wrote off this brand one time. Not this, this specific pasta, but... Um, I wrote off this brand one time because there's even when it was done cooking, it was kind of watery. And I found out what you do is you gotta wait. You gotta wait. They say let it stand two minutes. No, you gotta wait at least five minutes for that stuff to soak it up or just get to the point where it's like the consistency of this stuff, like, and then it's fire. But I had wrote them off, and I was like, you know, let me give them one more try. So, I always like to have those around when it's just, I'm rushing, and I'm like, okay, I want to just eat, make something quick to eat, or, um, I don't really eat them, like, I don't really make a lot of chicken and things like that right now. I have, like, mostly in the freezer, like, catfish, nuggets, and a big, uh, two-pound bag of shrimp, and things like that, because that's the kind of stuff, you know, but now with it cooling down, I'm going to have more soup, make more soups. And make more, um, you know, bait, like baked chicken, uh, short ribs, like thing my mom made. So, it's like, um, those sides though, I can eat them just by themselves. But, if I wanted like a main meal type deal, yeah, you know, I would get like, you know, baked chicken, maybe baked chicken, or make, um, you know, just another thing. But, anyway, guys, so, yeah, Traders, um, it's all right. I give it a six. Um, I definitely think people should try it out, because if something is slightly endearing about it, it's not, like, the greatest thing ever, but it's not the worst. Um, I think it, you just have to be, kind of, add some seasonings to it, and possibly a different cheese, um, because some cheese to me just bring out more, have more, are better for this type of dish. And you already have to kind of compensate with the squash too, you know. So, I think if they had added extra sharp, it would have been way better. But anyway, you could do that if you want. So, you can kind of make it, make it how you want it a little bit. But, anyway guys, here it is. I suggest checking it out. Because it's pumpkin season right now. They have it in stock. It's worth a try for sure. Alright you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.